greetings all in this video i will be discussing that how easily you can remember all these 13 principle because many times we used to forget this principle when someone asked in interview and these this is the most asked question during interviews let's start so the very first principle is the ethics how you can remember this this is only one word only one word is it is right now second principle is risk versus benefits you know so how many words are in this only two only third principle is right safety and well-being of the subject you have to remember these three words and gcp is all about all of right safety well-being of the subject this is by default you should remember this is principle number three so easy ethics right safety well-being uh, risk benefit as per the word count you can remember it now coming to the fourth principle fourth principle is you are on ip investigator product but i will link it to you are another principle also because both of these principle are principles are on ip but before if you that, wanted to learn more about clinical research you can refer my book it talk about clinical operations pharmacovigilance data management in even for a medical writing and it is available on the amazon link is in a description coming back to our principle four. principle four number is sufficient information sufficient information on ip investigator product and there is similarly 12 number principle is also you have to link these principles together that is also on ip 12 number principle is saying that it should be manufactured as per the good manufacturing practices gmp so fourth principle and 12 number principle so two principles are on investigational product one is talking about sufficient information should be available on ip another is saying that it should be manufactured as per the gmp now coming back to our fifth number principle fifth number principle is about protocol that it should be scientifically sound now you so glad to know that sixth pr number principle is also related to protocol that trial should be conducted in compliance with the protocol so which is approved by irb or iec Eth institutional review board and or institutional ethics uh, committee so different reason name is different so these fifth and sixth principle they are totally dedicated to protocol now come moving to our seven number principle and you will be so amazed to know that seven and eight number principle both are linked to qualification now seven number principle is saying that medical care should be by qualified medico you know qualified doctor or medico you can say that eight number principle is saying that staff should be qualified so these two principle they are you know talking about the qualifications so seven or eight principle you can remember by the qualification now i another principle number nine principle number 10 and principle number 11 Ye, these three you can remember by the alphabet c how so nine number principle it is very interesting consent so you can say the freely given informed consent form right but you can remember 10th number principle confidentiality so easily you can remember correct and now coming to 11 number principle is clinical trial information so see the beauty all these three are starting with the alphabet you can say then you can start with an with an alphabet of c consent confidentiality sub clinical trial information should be recorded handled and stored in a correct way so clinical trial information confidentiality consent now after this the only one principle has been left which is because 12 we already covered earlier we linked it to the principle number of four which is you know on ip these two are on a 
IP. Now, what is 13 principle? This is the only principle that you have to, uh, you know, memorize it at its own. But 13 number principle is speaking about, you know, quality. So, you can the quality assurance, which is a QA, quality control, which is QC. If you wanted to know the difference between two, there is a video on our channel. Quality assurance is example your audit. Quality control is your monitoring. So, I hope in a way that, you know, you will be able to remember these principles. To me, it's very fantastic. I discovered this method suddenly when someone asked me that it's very hard to remember them. But I say that it's very easy. The moment you say that uh, first three principles with the num count words, uh, first is ethics, one word, second risk and benefit, only two words, third Three word, right, safety and well-being. Fourth is IP and it is related to your 12 number principle. Both principles are on IP. Five and six are, are both are on protocol. Seven or eight are on qualification. Qualification of a medical team, qualification of a staff. Nine, ten, eleven, all are starting with alphabet C, consent, confidentiality, clinical trial information. GMP is, you know, that is a different. 13 is only that you have to uh, remember it remember it as a standalone. Uh, write in a comment if you find it interesting. I myself found it very interesting. And please share it with your friends, colleagues. And do let us know if you want me to cover some other important topic. Thank you so much.